What's your sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I just start this video, I do want to talk about the Yeezy raffle. It is now live. You can go purchase your tickets on my website, rsneakers.bigcartel.com. You can buy one for 10 or three for 25. One more announcement I wanted to make is I am going to start a blog channel. If it's not today, it'll be tomorrow, but it's for sure that I want to do it. So I will be starting that very, very soon. So today's video was requested by a subscriber and he asked me, how do you afford your sneakers? So the way I'm going to like structure this video is the first part of the video is going to be how you guys can do it. And then towards the end, I'm going to talk about how I afford my sneakers. So basically, if you're under 16 and you're looking to get money for sneakers, because that's basically what this is about, you can go ahead and cut lawns, wash cars, fix iPhones, babysit, tutor. Just do things you can do in your local area, things your parents can help you get connects to. Like let's say that your parents have friends or coworkers that, they want to go out but they can't because they have children that need to be babysitted you can go ahead and offer your service of babysitting to them and then they'll give you some money and you can gain money that way another way is if you're good at a subject then you can go ahead and tutor like let's say you're really good at math a lot of people aren't good at math and if you're excellent at that then you can actually go ahead and tutor people that you know need tutoring in that subject basically what i'm trying to get at is do things that you're good at because if you're good at it, then it'll be easy for you and you can gain money that way. And if you're under 16, you really can't get a job basically anywhere except like Publix, I think. At 15 or 14, you can be a bagger or something like that. But other than that, you're gonna have to find a way to make money on your own, just like all the options I listed before this. Now, if you're 16 years old or over, then you are legally able to work and you can basically just find a job anywhere. Work at a mall, just look around in plazas for people that have signs that are say, now hiring. There's a lot of opportunities out here. You do live in the United States. You don't live in a third world country where it's really hard to find a job, or even if you do have a job, you get paid nothing. You, at least, you guys at least have the opportunity to be living here. And anybody can really find a job. You just gotta go out there and look for it. So now moving on to what I did to get money for my sneakers. Well, basically, I was lucky enough to get a job at like 14 or 15, I don't remember. And I was getting paid pretty good just because I was getting paid more than minimum wage but I wasn't getting a lot of hours, but to me it felt like a lot because it was my first job. And I worked there for years and it really helped me out a lot to get the shoes that I wanted. But the thing with me is I have a business background, like my grandfather, he's a businessman, so I kind of adopted that trait from him. And it always made me put my money into investing, so I never really ran out of money. I always had like money to afford my sneakers and I knew how to budget that pretty good. Like I said before, do things that you're good at, do things that you like. Like for me, I love working on cars. I have a big passion for it. And every once in a while, I would do things for my friends and they would like pay me a little bit of money. And eventually it adds up. All the money that you get does add up. So don't think if you're getting like five bucks here and five bucks there, it's like nothing. But think about the long run. Always think about the long run in the future. Your money is gonna add up and you will be able to afford what you want. So what I would do, I would work on cars. Like I said, I like doing that. I would do jobs for others. Like I used to cut my neighbor's lawn when they lived here and then they moved out. And then I stopped cutting their lawn, obviously, because there was nobody living there. I was going to start going around house to house to start cutting lawns, but then I also had my job, so it was like I didn't really have enough time for that. Another thing I was good at, I've always liked technology, and one time I broke my phone and I fixed my iPhone, and I found out it was pretty easy and it was pretty quick, and I like doing it, so I was like, hmm, why not just like put a little ad on, on my social media saying that I could fix iPhone. And then I got a little bit of money from that, too. And one thing I recently started doing was I started cutting hair. I do like the art of cutting hair. I feel like it is an art in my opinion. And I recently just started cutting my friend's hair for free. But prior to that, I would be cutting my own hair and I would work on myself, work on myself. And then eventually I got it down to like, not the best obviously, but I got it down to a decent look. And then my friends started seeing that. So they let me start cutting their hair. And then they started promoting me. And then they started referring people to me to cut their hair. And I'm currently in the process of that. So as you can see, I've tried to find many ways so I can actually afford the things I want. And I usually try not to spend all my money on sneakers. And I know it's really hard because there's sneaker releases every single weekend. But what you really want to do is save up your money, invest it if you can, if you know how to invest, if you know how to do things like that to get more money out of the money that you got, then do that so in the end you could have the shoes you want. You don't have to have them right away. And last but not least, obviously you guys know that I do resell sneakers. And that does help a lot because you can use the money that you sell your sneakers with to buy the sneakers you want. So you kind of use that to your advantage. And the way I budget my money is the money I make 
from the thing I do is what I spend it on. So if I make money off selling shoes, then I use that money for shoes only. If I make money working on cars and I use that money to put it towards my car and just you guys get the idea put it this way if you really want it then you'll make it happen regardless of the circumstances you'll find a way to make it happen always make budgets and don't spend all your money on just one thing so if it's sneakers and i know you're in love with them don't spend all your money on them it's not worth it it's not worth going in debt the reason i do buy sneakers is because i know in the end they could be sold so that's the one good thing about sneakers even if you wear them, some shoes do hold their value or you can sell them and make your money back. But I'm not saying go in debt. So don't just buy every single sneaker release every every week. Still make your budgets. So basically in other words, be really smart with your money. Don't be stupid with it and just spend it carelessly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you stay woke. Our sneaker signing out. Peace.